and Imogene hitting its highest levels since May 2001, securing a new clinical trial supply agreement with both Merck and Pfizer. For all the details, we welcome back Leslie Chong, Imogene MD. Good afternoon, Leslie. Thank you so much for joining us. There's some pretty big Hi, names there in this announcement. So not surprisingly, the market is welcoming this move. Talk us behind the uh, what was moving on under the hood. So uh, look, this, um, can you hear me okay? You can. Great. So uh, this deal has been going on for a while as you know as as being under the hood uh we have been working with Merck Germany and Pfizer to secure a supply agreement and that just means we get drug for a clinical uh study that we all agreed on and so we get this drug for free and it could be upwards of if you had to if Imaging had to go it alone, we would have to spend something like $4 million uh, AUD on the drug. But we get it because uh, they had looked at the clinical trials and they really liked what they saw. And companies like Merck and Pfizer are no longer allowing their supplies or drugs to be in clinical trials for free anymore because they're being highly selective. And so um, I am really pleased that we are jointly and in a partnership uh, moving the drug in combination together. So Leslie, when do we expect to go and start getting some results back from this latest set of trials? So this is with uh, combined with Hervax and Pfizer Germany and Pfizer drug, um, Merck Germany and Pfizer drug called Avalumab. Uh, ben Ben uh, Bavencio is the brand name, and we will likely put this in patient as early as Q1 of 2022. So Q122 is when the trial starts. How long, what is the evolution here? Because obviously companies like to make a lot of announcements. What sort of delivery do you expect? What's the first best outcome for imaging? So gastric cancer patients, unfortunately, have a very short overall survival. And so if we can get uh, a pathological response with a few patients, I think we would call that a success. And you can see something like this within three months of a patient being on. Uh, obviously, we want more data, so we wanna have a lot of patients on so that we could evaluate Hervax by itself and then Hervax in combination with Bevencio. Leslie, you're very busy. You've got uh, lots of things going on, uh, lots of irons in the fire. Where else are you up to when it comes to the pipeline, when it comes to patents and other trials that you're undertaking? Oh gosh, so you can anticipate imaging having something like eight to 10 studies ongoing as early as 2022. So yes, we are quite busy, but we are uh, staffed and we have deep consultants, beauty consultants that only work for us and uh, we're hiring some key personnel. So we're moving and shaking uh, like we've always done. So just in terms of uh, at, at this stage, your announcement does not need extra funds. You are funding out of existing cash balance. If you've got eight to 10 trials coming up, will there be a cap raise in the near future? No, ma'am. <laughs> we have 112 million in the bank currently. That sees us out, you know, I say conservatively 2025, but really th there should be more. And there's, um, options that uh, expire in 2024, that brings in another 70 million. So I do not anticipate a capital raise. Funding and ready to roll. Leslie Chong, thanks for joining us on the program today. Thanks for having me.